Hey Planner friends, how's it going? Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. My name is Ryan and this is A Man With The Plans. And we are in my 2018 budget notebook here. It's an Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly. We got my baby steps written here on the front. Um, and we're gonna do a September budget. So as you know, for if, if you've watched these before, um, I do a budget every single month like this. Um, and then I also use the monthly pages to actually track every single expense that I use each day. We'll do a report card on the end of August once the month is all said and done. But for now, let's take a look at September. September's gonna be a big month for me. I'm moving on the 29th. Um, so we're actually gonna, I, my plan is I'm gonna budget like it's my new apartment with the change in rent just so that I can sort of save the differential and expenses, get used to it, and then also have that difference in money be available for any moving costs like a moving truck boxes all those things so let's go ahead and get started here um i'm going to be using some washi tape i got from the favorite daughter shop shop d stash which was a while ago um so let's get that going across the top here um okay let's set that down i just think and i know some of you are not decorative planner folk and that's all right i just like to keep mine nice like this it makes me feel for some reason more motivated to stick to the budget if i gussy it up like this um i don't know i also use mint to also track my spending and trends and all that good stuff as we go also so there's there's a lot of ways you can do it so we're gonna use this fun purple washi um and then we're also gonna use the sticker sheet from erin condren that's got all the months on here so let's go ahead and add this guy, September, perfect. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add one of these. Um, this is the Planner Kate S634. It's the striped um, appointment boxes. And I'm using a Pilot G2 if, in case you were curious. We're gonna use this one here and just write the word budget. Um, so I keep my budget fairly simple. Um, I don't try and do all sorts of crazy things. I just kind of list out what my expended income is and then also what my expended outgo is and then sort of budgeted at the end there. I am on baby step two of the Dave Ramsey plan, so you'll see that kind of exists over here. So first thing will be income. And I tend to do estimated, actual, and then the difference, plus or minus. I'm just curious like that. Um, and so I will leave my main income here. And I have that estimated as 32.50. And then I have some extra income. And I have that at 300. Meaning my total income is gonna be $3,550. Now, there could be more than that. Um, I have a part-time job that gets started around uh, November, so at some point that'll kick in. Just something to think about. So now that we've got the income side of the equation done, let's go ahead and switch gears over to the expenses. All right, so the first thing we have is rent. This is for my new apartment. It's gonna be $1,487. Um, which is a bit of a jump from my old place. Um, and then the next thing I have, I have currently budgeted laundry. Um, I'm gonna need that for this month. I won't need that for next month, however, because I will have a washer dryer in my unit. So I'll put $20 in there. Um, that will be the last month that I ever need to have to worry about that. And the next would be internet. And that's gonna be $74.91. The next thing on there is gonna be gas. Um, there will be utilities at my new apartment, but I will put those in next month and it's really gonna be an estimate. So I'm gonna put $60 and we'll see what happens. The next category I have is gonna be groceries. So I'm, I, I'm gonna up my budget by $50 um, because I'm gonna really drop down my restaurant spending. Um, so my restaurant spending used to be like $100 $50, and I always spell that word wrong. Uh, we're gonna drop it to 50. 
I'm gonna really try to stick to this this month. There's gonna be a lot going on, so I wanna make sure that I'm doing my best to stay on track with that. Um, I can zoom you guys in a little bit more. So after restaurant, um, usually I have coffee and clothing and skin and hair care. I'm gonna move those all into what's called a personal category. Um, and my coffee budget's gonna be zero. Um, I've been pretty good about making it at home. But that whole category is gonna be $150, and that's like a haircut, um, some other miscellaneous spending, those types of things. And then that'll also include um, any, like my gym membership and those things. Um, I will be canceling my gym membership once I move. And then the next item will be subscriptions. And this is for like Netflix and all that other stuff. I put $60, we'll see. The next thing I have in here is sinking fund. And if you hadn't seen my video on my sinking funds, I'll leave it up in the card for you. Um, after we did that, I'm gonna be putting $144 a month away. Uh, it used to be 125. And so that really rounds out my sort of expenses for the month. I've kind of squished things and consolidated them. I feel like having the haircut and those things broken out like that just tends to get a little bit more messy in this way. You know, worrying about something as a personal or not, it all just kind of flows into a couple of few, fewer categories. So next thing we have are my debts. Um, the first one is gonna be student, my first student loan, um, which the minimum payment is gonna be $85. And so that's what I, that's the base that we're gonna worry about. The next one's gonna be my car. And that is gonna be, it's set every month at $351. So that's taken care of. And then the last one I have is my second student loan, which is a biggie, which we'll get to over on the side in a second. Um, and that's set at $465. So what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go add up all of this and the minimum payments and then subtract from my income and that will give us the extra payment that we'll be able to put towards my first student loan. So hold on one second. All right, so after doing all that fun math, it looks like we will have, to make this an every dollar budget, on top of the $85 that we'll be putting to this, we will be actually able to put, if we spend it right, 30309. Now remember, my current rent is about $300 off from this, so I have some money left over that I think will be able to float me. Um, so I can probably up this number a little bit more. Um, Overall though, if you add all of these things up, at the end of the day, this, all these things, we should end up with this little guy right here. All right, now, check back. We're gonna do a couple of check-ins throughout the week, um, throughout the month. I think I'm gonna do one a week, actually, so you guys can kind of follow along with the uh, trials and tribulations of spending. But now, I wanna go ahead and do what I usually do on the side here, which is, I'm gonna split up the sidebar in not a little bit less than halves. Um, I like to do my sinking fund update on one part, and then I like to do an ongoing rolling um, debt tracker on the other, if I can cut this washi right. You know what, we're just gonna move it down a little. There we go. I really want the purple anyway. Right, isn't this, this fun washi, this geometric style? Yeah, really lucky I was able to snag this bundle from the favorite daughter shop. Her stuff was super great, that sale she did back in March. Um, if you haven't checked out Emily's um, Etsy shop, favorite daughter shop, she has some really fun washi that I've mentioned in a couple other videos. Um, I will leave a link to her channel up in the card. Ooh, took some paper. Um, but I'll, I'll also leave a... Um, a link below to her actual Etsy shop. So, like always, we will go ahead and put sinking fund down here, and we'll get to that in a minute. But for now, let's go ahead and do our little debt tracker. And don't mind my poor excuse for lettering. I've been watching a lot of uh, Cindy Gunter Balda lately. So I'm always inspired by what she puts together. 
So as of the filming of this video, which is August 29th, my current student loan for my first one is at a balance of $1,801.91. So we're we're at cruising altitude. We are so close to knocking that out. Um, I'm hoping that I can sort of get get some momentum going and be able to get that done before the end of the year so that I can use my tax return and other stuff to really throw at the next debt that I have, which is going to be my car. And currently on my car, we just broke 14000 We are at $13,967.11. So, yeah, um, for, for those of you that are wondering, I have a 2016 Subaru Crosstrek, big fan of it. It's um, relatively low miles, so the car's gonna last me forever. Um, I just wanna make sure that I get that paid off and taken care of so that I can have that car working for me instead of me working for it. And then the last thing that we're working on, the final baby step piece in this baby step puzzle for two is um, my other student loans. For some reason, when I got my student loans, they were dispersed in one loan for I think it was like $7,500 and the other loan was dispersed for the remainder which was like 40 or 32 something so this is the way it worked out and this one's the biggie it currently sits at $28,482.59 so I have to say I, I looked back in this notebook to the beginning of the year and we started with a balance of around I think it was like 58000 and change so the fact that current balance as of right now, if you add all these up, is $44,251.80, oh, 66 cents, close enough. So to me, having paid off for over $14,000 in nine months, I'm really proud of that. Um, we will be well on our way. These two, at that rate, these two will be gone by next year for sure, leaving, you know, a nice shovel to throw at that last little bit. Um, I'll do a video at some point on the baby steps in depth a little bit more as well so, as also maybe my financial story if you're curious to hear about it. Um, let's go ahead and pull up some info on my sinking funds and then we can wrap this budget up. All right, so last little bit here. Um, for sinking funds, I use the Capital One 360 savings account. I really like them because you can kind of delineate out um, all your variety of sinking funds. Um, the overall balance that I have currently right now in my sinking fund at the moment is one hundred and forty two dollars no nope, I lied that would be fifty two dollars and seventeen cents and so the way that I usually break this down is car maintenance travel Christmas medical let's check the back here There's one other I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, but anyway, so for the current balance, I can have these, I have these delineated out, I just don't have it in front of me, so I'll go back and kind of make do with that. The nice part is that once I have um, switched over to my new allotment, I'll be able to sort of generate this up a little bit faster so I don't have to, oh, it's car tabs, it's the last one. <laughs> and I just paid this one, so we should be at our first month's contribution, which I believe should not be much. So for the most part, the things that we'll be focusing on for the now are travel and Christmas, since I'll be flying home to see my family for the holidays, as well as any gifts that we get them. Uh, the car maintenance fund, I actually pulled out almost completely to zero. So this right here, all that's left is a 2717 because I had um, a service done. But yeah, so uh, that's gonna be it for the budget for the month of September. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions for me, go ahead and leave them down in the comment box below. Uh, my name is Ryan. I make new videos every Monday and every Thursday. Uh, so go ahead and click that subscribe button if you'd like to see more. Thanks so much. Have a great rest of your day. Bye, planner friends.